We're putting our pencil crayon into the water. Just a normal, regular day here. All right, who's ready for a classic video? We're going old school YouTube and we're testing out some beauty hacks today. I know there are some people who have been missing the makeup videos that are like just like the tried and true classics. So I'm gonna try and pepper them in as well as try some new things on the channel. I like to mix it up, you know? But I did find a whole bunch of beauty hacks that I'm very interested in trying. So we're gonna test them out today. We're gonna see what's up with them. And if you're new here, welcome. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to be notified when new videos go here. Up, they go here, here on this channel. And we put them up here every Thursday. What I'm trying to say, with words. And I believe the first hack actually started with Marilyn Monroe. It's sort of her hack to create the illusion of deeper, fuller lashes, but also this like bright eyed look. And it seemed pretty straightforward. So I've done, you know, the the top part of my eyes. Now we're gonna do the rest of it. For that, we're actually gonna zoom in so you can actually see what I'm doing. Also, I don't know if I've explained on this channel yet, but my camera is just not having it. So this is my vlog camera. For the next little while, we're gonna be using that. So if it's a little bit off, now you know. So first thing, I need the tools, which I failed to prepare in advance. I'm so good at being prepared. Okay. The first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna draw with like a really small brush. It should be angled. This is the wrong brush. This is a very angled brush. This should be fine. And then we're gonna take our brown shade and we're gonna smoke out straight from the, the lower lashes. And I'm gonna do one eye at a time so I can actually see like side by side what the difference is. They're basically just creating like a like a wing shape but on the bottom. But it looks odd because my top one is too high. So let's drag that down a little bit. So I'm guessing something like that. And then you take like a nude pencil of some description and then you draw right in the middle of those. I think something kind of like that. I'm gonna make it a little bit um, darker though. Cause I don't know, to me, this isn't like a, oh, there we go. Let's just make this darker maybe. Is that sort of the, the look? It's sort of like a double line almost. I think it is. Okay, so what do we think? One side done, one side not done. Is this something we like, not like? Let me know. I think I like it better with the lower one being smaller than the upper one. And by one, I clearly mean, you know, wing. So I'd almost want it to be like really, really almost imperceptible. If that makes sense. So is that, I think that's better. I like it though. Let's just uh, complete that on the other side though. And now moving on to the face. And this is supposed to be the way that all of the celebrities, you know how you see them in the ads and whatever, and you're like, ooh, their skin looks like so airbrushed, so flawless. But oftentimes they don't apparently use a lot of powder on top. And obviously when they're in photo shoots, they're getting retouched like constantly, like all the time. That's not reality. That's not how I live. But there's a hack to make your makeup stay put longer without resorting to powder. Cause I don't know about you, but when I put powder, especially like underneath my eyes and stuff, if I don't do that, everything's just gonna crease and it's gonna go into every single line and it's just, it's not cute. And this hack is supposed to stop that. And it's using two products I had to go out and buy cause I didn't actually own them. But um, we're gonna start with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. What did they launch this, like 2017? Like I swear I've already tested this. So you're supposed to put this on bare skin. I have not put on any like primers or foundation or anything and put it on the high points of your skin. It's a starting point on your nose. I also saw her put some on her like forehead too. I'm not gonna put it on my chin though. Recognizing that her shoulders are now free for some glowifying. Are they shiny now? Oh, kind of. Honestly, it's been uh, a minute since I've tried this stuff. So this is gonna be fun. Maybe they've changed the formula. I don't know. Basically you wanna look kind of glowy because it's gonna like shine through uh, the makeup. Now comes the weird part. This is something I would never do to my, I would never think to do this with makeup. It feels so counterintuitive and I had to, again, I had to buy it. And that's using a matte primer instead of where you would like normally like bake or like really set your, your skin. You would use a matte primer there instead. It just, I don't know if I can get on board for this. It just, I, I'm curious how this is gonna look. So I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes. Like I would never put a mattifying primer there. This feels so weird to do. I'm gonna put some on my smile lines here, middle right here, probably up here as well, on the forehead. There we go. Oh, it feels so weird, okay. Now I will go in and do my normal concealer and everything like that. But first we're going in with another hack and this is to get that really soft skin like finish to your foundation. And that is using a wet velour puff. So I did that. I did wet one of my velour puffs, which is kind of like a sponge, I guess. And I'm going to hit it to my face. And I want to know, oh, this feels so weird. Oh, 
I bet my uh, primer is gonna hate that. It's very wet. I feel like from far away it looks good, but on camera, that looks atrocious. Is it just that this is the wrong shade for me? It looks very white. Or maybe I'm just that shade. Let me try and blend it with a mildly darker shade. I do like that this has more um, surface area than say like a beauty blender or something like that. And oftentimes you get one of these in with like your powders and stuff. Not oftentimes, but sometimes. A free with purchase, you know. All right, let's, let's keep going. Do my normal concealer. Nobody said anything about choosing a different type of concealer. Just use your normal. And then I'm going to to, mm, I'm, gonna use this, I'm gonna use a brush for this one. Ah, it's going on top of my pretty eye thing. Hang on. Ah, you know when you apply like too much and you're just like, that was a mistake and I'm going to pay for that mistake. That's where I'm at right now. Well, this is kind of actually a hack. I think I tested this in another video, but using a like a lighter concealer, just sort of in the outer parts of your face really adds this like liftingness so that I really like. I'm like trying to like really blend in my concealer and see if this uh, this hack takes. Cause you, can you imagine if you don't have to set your under eyes? That could be great. would love that. I don't like to put powder on underneath my eyes. The liner's looking a little liney though. I don't know why it looks different on one side than it does on the other. It doesn't help that like both of my eyes are like entire, like just different shapes. You know when you just know something about yourself and you like spend so long like staring at your eyes, you're like one is a different shape. It requires a different makeup technique. Do not even get me started on my brows today. I have to go get them done. They're driving me nuts. You've gotten on my last nerve brows. You could just be cool for once. No, nope, that looks terrible too. It's fine. We're just, we're gonna pretend it's fine. Now we're gonna go on to bronzer. I feel like I haven't like sat down and like talked about products I like in a while. So we're gonna do that. First of all, this Physicians Formula bronzing, like, I don't know what it is, like a lotion. It's so good, guys. No one talks about how good this is, and it's so good. I can use, like, a sponge with this. I can use a brush. I can use my fingertips. And it's just butter bronzer, but liquid. Butter glow liquid bronzer. It's beautiful. You need it. Chef's kiss. Like, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. I feel like you could just wear this on its own. You could mix it in with your foundation. You could use it on your shoulders for, like, because it has a little bit of, like, a glow to it. So it's obviously, it's not a contour or anything, but it has has this just like really soft sheen. Oh, obsessed with it. And then we'll add a little bit of blush. I'm gonna try this one from, this one from Tower 28. This is the shade Magic Hour. In case you're interested in this one. Got like a nice little, like a soft glow look to it. Oh, too much on my nose. Now I just have a sunburn in the middle of my face. Okay, so far I think I like my skin. Let's see how long it lasts. But now we're gonna do two different lip hacks. One, I just need to know if it works. I just need to know. And that is creating your very own lip liner just by dunking into water some pencil crayons. Yep, just standard run-of-the-mill pencil crayons. And I brought them all up because we have such we have such a variety. So many options. I have this like fun pink one, I have two pink ones. I have a red, like what direct, I have this pinky red. I feel like I want to do this one. This one looks pretty. Okay, so let's get some, <laughs> let's get some water. Okay, water secured. And we're putting our pencil crayon into the water. Just a normal, regular day here. Don't tell my children I may have ruined this or made it better, all right? That's, um, that's, I don't know, is that wet? I have no idea. All right, now to apply some pencil crayons to my face. Stop. Stop it right now, that's n no way. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't know how toxic this is. Wouldn't recommend it, but does it work? Yeah, it does. That's hilarious, okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just, you gotta try something. Okay, so wait, hold on. Does it need to be wet is my question. So that's it wet. Let's try it dry. No, it needs to be wet. I assume that softens it. I don't know. If somebody can explain the science behind that, I am curious. Does it work? Yeah, it does. That's so funny. All my scientists out there, let a girl know. I'm really curious how this works. And while I remove this, I'm actually going to speak to uh, the product that I am using for another hack, but not where you think you would be putting it. Not like what I'm doing currently. And that is, uh, some people have been taking micellar water and using it as a dry shampoo. And I know what you're thinking, Rachel, that looks like clean hair. Like checking, does it look like clean hair? Like I did just watch it yesterday. It's already starting to like separate a little bit because my hair gets oily really fast. But don't worry, tomorrow Rachel's gonna test it. I really hope that worked. I don't know at this point, but I really hope it did. All right, my hair is now a little bit greasy. Really not as bad as it normally is, but like I, 
I mean, it's not great, but truly, truly, this is not terrible. It's not terrible. So I wish I had it more greasy and gross for you, but we're gonna test this out. We're gonna take our micellar water right here. And we're gonna put it onto a cotton pad right here. I'm gonna do one side with and one side without. So let's look at our hair before, a little bit shiny, separating a bit in the back too. Honestly, it's not that bad. This is like day two, but um, we got to try this. So we're just like putting it in to the one side. I guess we've committed to this side then. Put it in back here too. Apparently this is gonna be just like a dry shampoo. Mm. Let's see about that. All right, it's in. And now we blow dry it. Well, I guess my roots are dry. They're just now extra greasy. So maybe this is the wrong micellar water. And because it's a hydrating one or it's Hydro Boost, um, it's good for your skin, but not for your hair. And yeah, maybe it works with like the Garnier one or something, but no, I just um, made my hair super greasy. So that's awesome. So um, yeah, no, this didn't work, unfortunately. Sorry, uh, past Rachel. <laughs> and now that that is removed, we're just gonna touch up the outside here. We're gonna do another hack for keeping your lipstick on all day. Like no joke all day. You know when it wears off on the inside or right in here? Apparently it's not gonna do that and it's gonna stay all day and it's not gonna transfer and it's like using products you already own. So first things first, what I did do is I did apply like a moisturizing lip product to my lips all day. Now I'm gonna wipe that off, pretend it never happened. And I only need two products, a lip liner and a bullet lipstick. She says don't use one of those um, liquid lipsticks because they don't, they're not gonna do this properly. So I figured we gotta go big or go home. So I don't honestly own a lot of bullet lipsticks anymore, but I did find one. This one's from MAC and it's bright red and then I have like a color pop lip liner. So the first thing you're gonna do is you are going to line your lips all over, even on the inside part here. Make sure it's nice and dry. And then you're supposed to mush it in with your hand. She said it's gonna get really messy. So that's why I haven't like cleaned it up at all. So good. And then you blot once. Assume at this point I can um, clean up the outside so I don't look like a joker. She was not kidding when she said that it was gonna be messy though. And you clean it up with like a little bit of concealer. Okay, next you're gonna take your lipstick, which I've already misplaced. Oh no, it's here. You're gonna apply a thin layer all over, including the inside. Ah, got on my tooth. It's really hard to get the inside part because it keeps getting so warm. Ah, I got it. Uh, here. And then we're gonna blot a lot. And you wanna do it again. And it's gonna feel like you're taking off all of the product. I've lost the lipstick again. Not a good color to lose, Rachel. Oh, found it. Okay. And it's gonna feel like you're taking off like all of the color, but apparently you're just taking off the color that would have like pilled and come off anyway. Then you blot oh, one more time. And now it should not go anywhere. So hold on, let me just clean this up. What I noticed from this is it's a very like lived in lipstick look, which I personally prefer to something that's sort of just like drawn on. I like it to look almost like powdery, soft, blurred. I think it just suits me more. I don't like anything that's like really, I don't know. I don't think anything that looks too drying or too glossy either, but it is a lot of work. So I'm going to check back with you guys tonight. We're gonna to see how everything is wearing and see which hacks are actually worth trying. Oh my gosh, the stories that I have about my lips today, because I had three mini humans here during the day while I was wearing this red lip. The two oldest, they're so used to it by now. They're like, yeah, whatever, I, mom's in makeup. But my two nieces, Gabby and Libby, and then Connor were just, they couldn't even believe it. And so I give you, my impressions of all of them. Starting with Gabby, because she saw me first. She's one and a half for reference. She looks at me and she's like, what's this? I'm like, it's lipstick. She's like, wed, wed mouth. She's looking over at her, her mom. Mommy, pink mouth. Shell, wed mouth. Gabby, pink mouth. Auntie shell eyes, auntie shell eyes. Dis eyes. Dis shell nails. Mommy nails, pink. Auntie's nails. Auntie's nails. Then I came across Connor. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> I touch it. I touch it, mama. Mama, can I touch it? Mama, can I? Can I? Can I touch it? Can I? Can I touch it, mama? Mama, please, please touch it. I touch it, mama. And then there was Livy, who was having a snack when she saw me. <laughs> red mouth, <laughs> silly. <laughs> so I have a variety of opinions on my red lips today, but truly the most hilarious is that Luke and Julia didn't even say anything. Didn't even question it. Didn't even look at it. Like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. In terms of how it stayed on though, you can see it has faded a lot, especially in the upper, and that is because I've been blowing my nose 
so much because allergy season is just out to get me. So I won't fault it that. It did, however, stay on very well, didn't end up on my teeth, and really it's only started to like peel away from the inside in not an aggressive way, but I had stir fry for dinner, which is kind of oily. So like, again, I can't fault it. Am I gonna do this on a regular basis? No. Is it something that I am gonna keep in mind when I wanna wear a bright lip and I'm going out and like, going to a dinner or an event or something, yes, absolutely. Because I didn't have to worry about it showing up on my teeth or like, again, just being like really pronounced on the inside. So I really loved that, that was great. The face makeup, honestly, I mean, it didn't wear as badly as it, I guess, could have. I mean, you can see it like creasing a little bit, like right there, then like over here, you can see a little bit of the mascara or maybe my eyeliner is kind of like showing up underneath here as well. It, like it's held up pretty well. No touch-ups, no nothing, no powder. It's not terrible. I mean, it's not, it's not super, but uh, is it any different than how mine would look with powder by the end of the day? I don't know. So it's an interesting one that I think I would try again um, and worked a lot better than I was expecting. And I have one more, but we need to have this makeup off, so. There we go. And I have heard really great things about castor oil. Um, and a lot of people have been using it um, in certain spots and putting like medical grade tape or um, patches on or whatever to infuse it into the skin. It's going to help to soften any um, creasing or fine lines and things like that. It's just supposed to be really good. So my sister had castor oil, so I borrowed some from her and I thought I would do it two different ways. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but it's just, it was an idea that popped in my head. So one, I'm gonna use my little, um, my little Sephora tapes that I use for winging out my, my liner. And I'm gonna use one of those, maybe two. We'll do one for now. And then on the other side, I figured we could try one of my Dia, um, re reusable eye patches. I don't know why that was very difficult for me to say. Because I use these quite often for any of my like hyaluronic acid like eye creams that I wear during the day. But I've never used it for sealing in something like a castor oil. And I don't know if it's gonna be too heavy on my skin or not, but we're gonna test it. So first things first, gotta get rid of a lot of the stickiness. The under eye is very delicato, you know. And I'm gonna take a bit of the castor oil outside of my eye here and then pop that right on top boom then i'm gonna try it on the other side and you can see like i have little lines nothing crazy um but it is definitely more noticeable with makeup on i'm gonna again take a dab put that all on and let that soak in for i don't know 15 minutes I'm curious if this is gonna stay put or if it's gonna slide around i think it's gonna stay put all right well i'll be back in 10 minutes just kidding, it's been more like 15 minutes. Probably more 20. And honestly, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I guess hydrated skin, but this did stay on like pretty well. Skin is still creasing, so I don't know what they're talking about. It feels hydrated. I'm sure it's good for my skin, but it's not like this like miracle thing that's gonna, I don't know, do something in 20 minutes. Maybe I need to be wearing them like overnight, maybe? Like like the um, the frownies, I do like those. So I don't know, let me know if you use castor oil or have used it before on your skin. Um, I mean, my skin, I mean, it's, it's gonna be very hydrated tonight. But let me know if there are any other beauty hacks that we should try out next time and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and you wanna see more of these kinds of videos. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic week. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you're notified when new videos go up every Thursday and I will see you guys all next week.